Hey guys, I did sort of a video about what it's like to have a home arcade, you know, in your home. And I recommended the Legends Ultimate by At Games because you could sort of soft mod it or whatever, and it would allow you to play many arcade games, console games, and etc. Since I've got this system, you know, I bought it at Sam's a couple Christmases ago. We've had some firmware updates, some of them that stopped some of the features, and then a few of them that made it work better. Um, and eventually they, would, they sent a firmware upgrade that actually uh, made it so you did not have to log in to play like your... Uh, App Storex or whatever uh, uh, mods, so you could play. I think you could have like four or five plays or whatever. Like you turn it on, you play it however long you want. Turn it back on later. You know, turn the power off and on, and you could play. You know, as long as the arcade was on, and then after your five or whatever. Uh, playthroughs or days was up you'd have to log in and it would reset it then they sent a firmware that made it so you did not have to do it so it seemed like they were on board with what people were doing you know playing their arcade games and stuff here and uh then we got an update i think it was 3.7.0 and that um made like your add-on x a lot of your stuff not work and uh here's the thing about that <clears throat> they seem to have intentionally targeted certain you know most arcade games but not console games so if I try to load most arcade games, this is what's going to happen. You get this black screen for a second and it goes back. Some of the arcade games do work, but most of them are disabled, I believe. So, one of the things that it did not, in this update, disable was CoinOps X. We can look at it load in a second. So I upgraded to 5.70 and like I said, add on X arcade titles aren't working, even though these are the same titles, just a different like front end here. They um they work. As you can see, they work. I'm gonna unmount that uh, arcade drive from Flash Drive X. Now we're going to mount this guy here. This is my console and the USB 3.0 slot here. Mounting the drive. Successful. Now let's go to add on X. Now this drive is still flashing, so I'm not sure it's gonna work well, we can do something like a Super Nintendo game here we're gonna try Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time
for Atari 7800. Well, we're still on the arcade. I was trying to play this one handed and, and it's kind of hard. Huh. Game Boy Color. Again, we're still on the arcade here. When it comes to Clico, and I'm pretty sure I played a lot of these Clico ROMs or at least tested them temporarily. It seems like it messed up the uh, Clico games. It just goes from a black screen just like uh, the arcade. So maybe in this firmware it kind of started playing with a few of these uh, consoles as well. So it doesn't make sense that Super Nintendo would play in Game Boy uh, Color and some Game Boy Advance stuff, but leave, uh, you know, leave them to play in Nintendo, but not ClecoVision. Okay, television. I haven't gotten any of these to work that I've tried. Just goes to a black screen. So, there is a firmware update 5.71 that actually deletes coin opsex and I wouldn't be surprised if it makes less uh, games and stuff run as well and it's, it seems like it was an intentional attack on people that were modifying their arcade system there are some good games that come with the system but it's going to be there's going to be a lot less people that won't this arcade based on what's you know included it's pretty that's too bad though because I kind of recommended this and now I can say I don't recommend it unless you like the included games and you know Yars Revenge and stuff is good but do you need to spend you know around a thousand dollars for Yars Revenge you could probably buy um, maybe some ROM packs, some like that were licensed for various systems, um, or get an, your own Atari 2600 or 7800 or ColecoVision with the Atari module in it, um, for cheaper. Fortunately, I did one of the firmware upgrades, but fortunately I didn't do the last one, so... I can still play the arcades just using coin opsex. It just takes so much more time to load everything than it does to do um, add on X, you know. So, add on X was just very fast, and yeah. So if you have a firmware that is doing okay for you, I would suggest not upgrading, disconnect your Wi Fi, and. Um, if you have a firmware, obviously, that you didn't have to connect every every five plays or whatever. And enjoy your system. Otherwise, if you've already upgraded, there's no way to roll back the firmware. At Games has already said they're not going to allow people to do that. To do pre-5.70 one firmware um, affects the console games or whatever when you're using add-on X but uh, if you don't have it I recommend do not get it and you do you never know what firmware version the Legends Ultimate is going to come with when you buy as long it. as at games has this attitude where they're going to take away all the stuff that you can add on here you know without paying their licenses and licensing and all um, either the people that created coin OpsX or, you know, or the other emulators have to come together and create another emulator that, that works with their firmware, or they're going to have to find a way to get a firmware hack to backtrack to the old firmware and keep it the way it was before it messed with this, all the file systems and all, um, but for now, I'm sorry, I recommend it. Getting one of these guys and having it, you know, as like an ultimate Christmas present or whatever, birthday, anniversary gift for, you know, somebody that loved the arcades. But now since they've did this, I would stay away until there is something, some way to get through this and fix it.